Good afternoon YouTubers, I'm back once again. I am now in the town of Sydney Mines, Nova Scotia, which is just located uh, right next to North Sydney. I believe it's if you head north of the island a little bit more. As I said, next to North Sydney, you get to North Sydney, you head north a little bit, you reach the town of Sydney Mines. And this is the town I grew up in, guys. I used to live up the very end of town and uh, right now we're about, uh, say about the center of town. So I'm just going to take a little walk down the front street here and show you guys around. Uh, give you a little view here right now of what I'm looking at. I'm right behind the dollar store and I'm coming around to the front street. So you have a big old church there. This is the Legion. I tried to stop the squeaking of my sneakers today, guys. I actually took the grinder to them, but it only helped a little bit. So, now we're on the front street. And as I said, the Legion is there. You have a bank next to it. Across the street, the drugstore. Uh, the fire hall is there, and the fire department. The Burton's floor. There we have a dollar store. It's called the Bargain Basket. Across the street is Sydney Auto Parts. A dog groomers. The old bowling alley. Uh, J.R. Rahe's Furniture Store. It's on the corner there. Uh, I'm not sure what this green place is, guys, uh, but then we have Robin's Donuts next to it and the gas station. I'm not going to head down that far. Uh, it's a Petrocan gas station across the street to an SO convenience store. There's a garage and down a little bit further is the Needs Convenience, which is another store. Just another convenience store. So I do have a little bit of facts to tell you guys about this town, but I'm going to do it when I reach uh, the old Prince, Princess Colliery Mine, which is down the road a little bit. I'm uh, actually going to go hop back in the car and take you guys down there and show you what that place looks like now. To say there used to be a mine there, an old coal mine, but it's gone years ago. They tore. Uh, Pour everything down when I was younger, and uh, a few years back there they put a park in. It's more or less just uh, uh, just a big green field now of all sod and everything. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I, I'd say they they will eventually put something in there like uh, playground stuff and things like that for the kids. So. Across the street here we have a tattoo parlor. Um, that's about it guys. Up here we have another pharmacy and the old post office. And this is a uh, elementary school for the kids. I'll actually uh, cross the street and I'll uh, I'll show you guys the uh, show you guys the fire hall that uh, it's got a big bronze monument there it's pretty nice we'll have a little little look at that both towns of Sydney Mines and North Sydney guys it's just full of fishing boats there's a lot of fishermen live here Most here is uh, lobster and crab, but there are others like uh, halibut, cod, things like that. Big industry on this island for fishing. So, here we are. Sydney Mines Volunteer Fire Department. This is the fire hall. They have dances and stuff here, and there's the monument, guys. What do you think of that? Isn't that cool? It's pretty nice, and it uh, it holds the flag up. 
That's our Canadian flag. It's pretty decent. And over there, down this street, the end of this street, we have a grocery store and a liquor store. And down that street is where we're headed. But, one sec, guys. I'm gonna go grab the car again because I don't feel like walking all the way down there. Okay, I don't know what this place is. Underground? Uh, must be a bar or something now. I've never seen that place here before. Yeah, we have the Iron Maid, Armed Maiden Tattoo Parlor. So, I'm going to uh, stop the vid here, guys, and uh, we'll catch you when we get down there. See you in a bit. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm now here. I hopped in the car. I went down the road a little bit and I'm at the park. It's called the uh, Princess Nature Trail. As I said, there's nothing in it yet. It's just uh, all grassy land. It's a beautiful walking trail down through it. It goes for quite a way. So uh, just step inside the park a little bit here and uh, got a little bit to tell you guys about Sydney Mines. There's actually a little uh, bit of info here, just uh, show you guys and maybe read a bit of it off to you. It's the Colliery Baseball League. In 1935, the Sydney Mines Ramblers joined the Colliery Baseball League, which included teams from Glace Bay, New Waterford, Dominion, Reserve Mines, and Sydney. Around this time, the league became professional and players would receive pay to play. Many coal miners played on these teams, and to ensure the teams were competitive, they were allowed to take time off work to hone their skills. Ramblers were supported by the miners of Princess Colliery, who made a regular contribution to the team from their paychecks. The Nova Scotia Steel and Coal Company provided funding for improvements to the baseball field. Yeah, it's also in French. Uh, this park was built by the Cape Breton Development Corporation guys. Uh, that's who owned it, the uh, mines around here. Uh, there's some little benches and that's road. As I say, it's all grassy fields, just goes all the way up to there. The trail comes down. There's a road over there, as you can see. And uh, the park continues on the other side. And it goes way off in the distance that way for probably a mile or two, guys. Uh, and it goes way down that way, uh, pretty much down to where the homes are that you can see in the distance. So, just uh, my cam around here, and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about it now. So, Sydney Mines was founded in uh, 1784, and it became a town in 1889. It has a rich history in coal production, although mining activity has now stopped. Before a permanent settlement was established, there was significant activity along the shore. Sydney Mines was also home to a large steel company named Scotia. It was the modern to its day between the Sydney Steel Plant, which was called Disco. That's pretty much a half, all I have to say about it, but... Yeah, guys, it was a big coal town. Uh, one cool thing that actually happened here back in the 80s, they, uh, they filmed a really popular horror movie here, and it was called My Bloody Valentine. It was about a, uh, a coal miner that went on a killing spree. He wore the, uh, the miner's mask and stuff, and he'd just go around town hacking people to death. But yeah, that's, uh, that's our click to fame. We had a real good movie made here. They actually, uh, they revamped the movie, uh, I believe it was in the 90s. They made another version of it. I don't believe that one did as good as the one that was filmed here. But it was okay. So I hope the wind doesn't play a big issue here. I know my uh, cam, I'm using the new cam and it has a wind dampener in it. So here's uh there you go guys, that's a uh, little view of the park. The guys with their ATVs are just tearing it up here, but it's not too bad. It's up that way. 
hers over there. That's where I per I'll show you guys that part of the uh, ball field and that. Uh, they have a lot of lighting systems there, guys. They play baseball games all like that here. And it, uh, it's pretty cool when it's lit up. It's just like daytime again. It's that bright. But yeah, there you can see uh, the park goes right down pretty much to the water. And it heads that way a bit more. But as you can see down there, everything's starting to grow in. And, uh, yeah. So there, guys. Uh, this is called Ocean Street over this way. Down that way is called Cranberry. They call it that because uh, there's fields of cranberries down there. And uh, you can go pick cranberries. I don't really like cranberries myself, but... It's something to do if, you, uh, if you're into cranberries and uh, baking and stuff. So I'll head across here, I'll show you the ball field, uh, there's a little skate park attached. Uh, I'm not sure kids use it too often anymore, uh, but that's why it was put there, to uh, keep the skater, skater kids off the street and stuff from skating and give them a park to play in. So what do you think guys? Uh, the, uh, the mine company actually did right here when they uh, tore the old, the old mine out and filled it in and stuff. They, they fixed it up, built a park out of it. You know, it's not like some companies that would just walk away and leave the big mess there. I have to say that about it. They, uh, they done right by that. Oh. The uh, road goes down that way. I'm about to cross here now. Up there where you see the great big building, that's uh, that's now the police station. It used to be the town hall. And uh, that's where I came from. That's where I came from, guys. <coughs> I'll head in here now. I'll uh, put the camera around and show you guys this. Home of the uh, Sydney Mines Ramblers baseball team. Bat and cage over there. Nice little building. This ball field. See the lighting systems, guys? They're huge. Pretty tall, and I'm telling you, you want to see the light that it produces. It lights this field up like it's daytime. I actually used to live right over there uh, on the other side of the pond. And you could hear them over here playing in the night and uh, look out the window and it would be that bright. Just like daytime. Oh, look there. What do you think, people? It's a nice little town. Not too bad. Uh, businesses don't flourish here anymore like years ago, but imagine things will pick up again. Hopefully our videos can draw some more tourism in. Oh, some big lighting systems. Yeah, you can uh, play horseshoes here guys. Can play horseshoes. Uh, there's some swings over there. Uh, no swings on the set but I think they're just taken out for the winter. So it's a pretty big field eh? Nice park. There's another little ball field there, so they have two here. They have a uh, little monument here. To the memory of those miners who lost their lives during the Prince Mi Princess Mine disaster in 1938. Placed by the Town of Sydney Mines and Prince Local 2183 UMW of A. 11th day of June 1990. We actually did have a few mine disasters here over the years, guys. Uh, one happened uh, not too many years ago back. So many miners got uh, entombed in the mine and killed. I can't remember exactly how many, but it did happen. 
I uh, don't think they ever got the mouse. I don't believe they ever got the bodies out. I could be wrong, but I, I don't think they did. So here now I'm in the skate park. I have some uh, some little ramps and stuff here. Uh, a little quarter pipe. See that? Some basketball nets. Come play basketball. There's another ball field right there. So there's three here. There's actually three ball fields, guys. Three ball fields. One area. A guy driving his squad around, making some noise. <laughs> so I, uh, I guess we'll call it a day here, people. And we'll figure something fun to do next time. But I just wanted to give a little bit of informative information on the town here for this vid and get it over with and out of the way. But yeah, we'll find something fun to do next time. Maybe a waterfall or something before the winter actually hits us here. I know it's coming pretty soon. It's, it's actually warm out today, but uh, it's coming soon, guys. <coughs> Manitoba got hit there. Uh, couple days ago and they're in a couple of feet of snow right now like I say it's pretty warm out here today it's probably uh, geez, it's at least 10 degrees or more out. It's, it's kind of warm but yeah it's coming soon so as you can see I'm almost at my car so I'll call it a day here guys and uh, till next time Keep your subscriptions coming because we love it. We're now at 170. We, we absolutely love it, guys. The help is very appreciated. Uh, hit the notification bell if you want to see our videos. And uh, comments down below, please. And until next time, guys, catch you later.